Hey guys, um, I just kind of felt like giving you guys an update on the computers. I haven't done a computer update video in a while, so I think it's kind of needed. Um, so, yeah. The, uh, well, we'll start with the custom built because that will be quick and easy. Uh, nothing, absolutely nothing has changed in terms of the custom built. Still got the exact same specs, still running the same. Uh, and I don't plan to do anything with this thing for a while uh, in terms of upgrades. Uh, so the hardware that's in it right now is going to stay in there. And uh, yeah, it's just more of a computer than I actually need. <laughs> so yeah, that's the custom built. Uh, second order of business, um, the E6400. Uh, ever since I installed that SSD, this computer has just been super fast. Like, seriously, this is just, this is amazing. Like, I mean, it is just fast. Here, let's see if I can demonstrate it. Chrome is kind of a slow program, but let's open it anyway. Bam, there it is right up there um, you know Microsoft Word bam there it is so I mean this thing is just it's fast Skype slow it's Skype even Skype is a slow piece of shit but it still loads pretty quickly see and it's like um, near instant I love it I run Adobe Reader bam there it is so like just the the speed of this SSD is just awesome so uh, I'm pretty much done with the upgrades with this computer too in terms of the hardware um, it's pretty much rocking and rolling right now I haven't decided if I'm going to shell out the money for eight gigabytes of RAM but it doesn't look good it just doesn't seem worth it to me I mean if you can see my my usage there I'm not I I have never used you know four gigabytes of RAM except on my custom build so yeah so I don't think I'm going to upgrade the RAM, but yeah, and then I checked uh, eBay, my eBay orders, and my first LCD bezel is here, and what I mean by that is um, I ordered a new bezel, a palm rest, and a back cover, an LCD, you know, the cover back here, uh, as you guys know, and a little while later I thought that I discovered that the, that the bezel I ordered was for an LED screen, which I don't have. Uh, but it turns out, uh, well, okay, hold on. I thought it was for an LED screen, right? So I, I thought I bought the wrong bezel. So instead of just going through the refund process, I tried to get a refund, but they never sent it. They just sent the bezel anyway. Um, I bought just another bezel that was labeled uh, for a CCFL screen. Um, but then, I compared the part numbers, which, you know, both of them, the first one was Y852R, and what do you know, the second one was Y852R. It turns out that part number is for a CCFL backlit screen bezel. So the first one I bought was correct. So that means that I'm going to have two bezels uh, once they both get here. But, you know, whatever, it's always good to have a spare in case I break it again like I did this one. This one is still broken and it bugs me, but the new bezel is coming today, and then the Palmer should be here tomorrow or Wednesday, and so should the back cover, so. Uh, all the parts should be here by mid, by, you know, the middle of this week. Um, I'm going to wait until all of the parts show up before I do anything to this computer, uh, just because I don't really feel like taking it tearing it down three times. I'd rather just wait for all the parts to get here and do it once. So that's going to be the upgrades video, so definitely stay tuned for that. I'll probably do a time lapse for that, um, just, you know, tearing it down, putting on the new parts and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's what's going on with the E6400. Um, I have my new stickers over here, the, uh, the Core 2 Duo sticker and one of the Samsung SSD activated stickers. The Core 2 Duo is just going to be right here on the new palm rest, and then the SSD sticker is going to be right over here. So, yeah, I will be doing that, obviously, as well. Moving on, uh, this is the Dell Latitude D410. I'm still setting this thing up. Um, you know, I still got stuff to install, like antivirus software and just, just little things, getting it, I don't know, set up for whatever. Uh, and then the other D410 is down there with the rest of the latitudes and um, Yeah, but so far I really really like these little laptops uh, Just very cool They're they got they're portable 
you know, they're very light, they're well built, they have great battery life for a laptop this old. Um, so, yeah. These things are great for when my friends come over too, because my friends come over and they want to use my computers. Uh, and at the time, all I had available that I was willing to let them use was the 6400. But obviously now, I'm not going to let anyone else use this computer. So these two D410s and one of those, one of the D500s down there, I don't know which one off the top of my head, but one of those has a fully working battery too. So now I have three laptops that I can let my friends use freely. Uh, and I don't have to worry about them as much. So, yeah, but overall this thing is decent. Uh, I checked the status of the Toshiba hard drives in both of these machines, uh, being, you know, this one and that one over there. And this one's hard drive is in 100% condition. The only thing that's, uh, you know, kind of warning is the power on hours. Uh, these computers were used in the business environment. Likely they were on all of the time, uh, all day, and possibly all night. So that's probably why. But uh, yeah, the, hard, the, the Toshiba hard drives are just old. Uh, they're eight-year-old hard drives along with this computer, so yeah. But other than that, those hard drives are in good condition. So yeah, that's the D410. Uh, really, really nice little, little portable little laptop there. I really like it. And moving on to the star of the show, in my opinion, the Dell Latitude D500. Uh, this thing, you know, this is my my baby. I love this thing. Uh, even though I'm not using it very much lately, um, still, still love it. So here we go. And I also just noticed the different aspect ratio of these screens. Like, this one has got to be 5x4 because it's it's square. It's completely square. And then this one is 4x3 because it's a little wider that way. So I just, I just noticed that. I didn't, you know, now that I've been using this thing and looking at this thing in its completely square form factor, I go to something like this or this that's rectangular. Um, and it just, it just looks weird to me. I don't know. It, it'll... It'll go away soon, but I don't know. It's just something with my eyes or whatever. But yeah, anyway, the D500's working totally fine. Um, it's still in pretty damn good condition other than the, uh, you know, the slightly worn palm rest and keyboard there. But other than that, yeah, it's in pretty good shape. There you go. Just overview of the specs again. Uh, I think I have speed step enabled, so that's why that's happening, but whatever. But yeah, anyway, I don't really use this thing for very much anymore, but it's a good it's a good travel laptop too. Uh, it has darn good battery life. I get about two hours out of it just like this one. Uh, so the D500 just sits right under here, um, you know, whenever I need to pull it out and use it for whatever, I do. So yeah, like I said, the battery life is very good. Um, get at least two hours and 19 minutes according to that. Uh, and it, it only has 13% wear, so yeah, it's a very, very good battery. So anyway, I'll go ahead and shut this thing down. Uh, and then after after I set this thing up, I'll shut it down too. So, yep. And then going over here to the other, the other latitudes in the family. Uh, I'm just going to give a quick update on these. I'm not going to boot them up because, you know, yeah, it would take too much time. Okay, thank you. Um, this D410... The worst condition one is really a lot worse compared to the other one. Um, but it does work, and the battery lasts a good two hours, just like the other one. Uh, but the keyboard's pretty worn, the trackpad's pretty worn, you know, everything's worn. Uh, and then the hinges are extremely loose. But other than that, um, this laptop is fully functional, uh, and it works. So, yeah, like I said, this is just a good throw-around laptop that I don't have to... Um, worry about you know my friends using or whatever so yeah that's the other D410 I also noticed that the Dell logos are slightly crooked on these things that just bugs my OCD like crazy but whatever uh, this is the other D500 I believe the working one okay uh, and this one this is the wor the second best D500 um, so yeah, this one runs Windows 2000, like I said, or like you guys should know. And, uh, yeah, this also has a good working battery. Uh, and then this is the D600, has no hard drive, and that's the other sort of semi-broken D500, which is kind of useless because the charging circuit's completely dead. But, 
yeah, that's pretty much it I'm going to have to say for the, uh, the computer update. I know they were mostly Dell Latitudes, but, yeah, there's really nothing to update on my, in terms of my custom built, so, yeah. Oh, and then the Dell, forgotten Dell Power Edge 2300 under there is still just sitting under there. It's probably going to sit under there for the rest of its life. I actually, I absolutely have no use for a server. Um, I don't run any, it's too, it's not powerful enough to run a Minecraft server. Uh, and it's just easy to run that off by custom built. So, yeah. So that is, I'm going to have to say, the end, the extent of the, um, you know, computer update video. But, you know, if you watched it, then yay. So, yeah. I'll see you guys later.